Hi, my name is Priyanka, and I'm the product lead on Microsoft Clarity. User experience has traditionally been hard to track and quantify. How do you know when a user is frustrated? In this video, we will show you how you can quantify and identify a poor user experience with Clarity Insights. Let's take a look. Clarity provides four key insight metrics that can signal a poor user experience. Page clicks are instances when a user rapidly clicks many times in a given area on your page. For example, if your website has a call to action button that is not properly linked or appears to be a link but does not function in that way, a user may be repeatedly clicking on it and getting frustrated. This is an example of a rage click and is a signal that a fix is needed. Dead clicks occur specifically when something looks like it's clickable, but it's not. For example, captions on images with blue text might look like it's a link and may cause a user to click on it. However, if nothing happens on that page after the click, that's a dead click. A session has excessive scrolling when an abnormally high amount of vertical scrolling occurs. This can be an indication of a user frustration or poor UX. An example of this may be when a user is on an FAQ page and is scrolling up and down to try to find a particular answer. Excessive scrolling may be an indication that they were unable to find an answer they were looking for. Quick backs occur when a user navigates to a new page and then quickly returns to the previous page. Say you wanted to send a user to an offers page, but the information is irrelevant or of no interest. You can quantify this through a quick back, which may indicate that the page a user navigated to was not what they expected or relevant. For any written content-focused sites like blogs, you want to understand how users are interacting with your article or content. Content insights provide key information about how users engage on your blogs. The reader-specific metrics provide information about the number of articles your readers consume when they visit your site. One and done indicates that the reader visited one article. Maybe they got the information they needed and didn't engage further with your blog. Casual readers are curious about your content and go through two to three articles in a session. Serious readers are very engaged and read more than four articles in a session. The reading behavior metrics indicate reading patterns on your site and engaged reading is when a user are consuming your content, scrolling through the page and reaching the end of the article. In contrast, abandoned and headline indicate that the user never scrolled down and they left the site quickly after just seeing the title. As always, you can view heat maps and recordings for each specific scenario to better understand why a user may be either one and done and how you could convert them into casual or serious readers. On top of all of these metrics, there's also Clarity Callout section, which indicates patterns on above metrics. For example, it can show insights like 60% of your serious readers are coming from Pinterest. Make sure to check out our other videos so you can learn more. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one.